another Zelda game could be announced this year. This is something I have not thought a whole lot about. Outside of some conversations we had on our podcast this past week where we discussed Jeff Grubb opening his mouth, and it is indeed something that we have chit-chatted a little bit on the channel about, but when I made my video covering this little bit of news coming out of... <laughs> Well, Jeff Grubb, you guys, you know, Zelda fans probably remember him most for like Zelda 35th anniversary stuff. The Wind Waker, Twilight Princess HD kept saying last year we were going to get those games. And then, well, we didn't. And look, it's it, it hasn't always been, uh, you know, all sun and roses and sunshine and I don't whatever. It hasn't been all smiles when talking about Jeff Grubb over the years, although Look, he's gotten a lot right as well. I, I I think there's a lot of focus on the things he gets wrong, and people fo you know forget about the things he's been right about. Heck, technically, he was right that a Metroid Prime, you know, full on remaster with massively enhanced visuals did exist. He was just wrong that it was coming last year, and instead, it released in February of this year. But here's the thing: when we're talking about this kind of stuff, is that we need to understand that you know everything changes. Time is not a straight line not when it comes to plans anyways look we can talk about how different things happen along a certain timeline to release of a game but when it comes to hey i plan to get x thing out on x date it might not happen i'll give you an example i have a amazing video that i'm working on for this switch product that i think is going to excite a lot of you guys hole sensing sticks and so much more but yet i plan they have this video done over a month ago and as you would have it, plans change, things move, and you never really know what's going to happen. And this is true inside of big companies as well. So what are we talking about? Well, Jeff Grubb over on his podcast, Last of the Nintendogs with Mike Miani, went on there to talk about a couple of things. Uh, we've, we'll, we'll briefly just touch on this because it leads into the Zelda thing. He said the Metroid Prime 2 remaster is probably coming re out relatively soonish. That is happening. That probably is happening relatively soonish. This next phrase, I'm afraid to say, so I might not actually say it. Listen, I don't know what it means. I'm going to tell you what they told me. And if you take this and spin it into something else, everybody, it's on you. Okay? It's on you. And this is important because this is leading into the Zelda stuff. It's going to be mostly what people want, right? It's going to have the modern controls. It's going to be HD. It's going to... Ha um, have things like that, but it's not going to get the love and care that Metroid Prime got. No. Also, something not related to Tears of the Kingdom is happening with Zelda later this year. Then they go on to speculate on games and, and stuff like that. Of course, it might not be a game, and it doesn't seem like Jeff Grubb really knows. But what's interesting is we need to get some of the... When we're trying to figure out what the Zelda thing could be later this year... We need to get out of the way some of the maybe less exciting things. Look, things like Zelda Legos, right? It could be that. You know, it, it did note it's not Tears of the Kingdom related. Well, the only real Zelda Lego set we had leaked that we know is real was the Great Deku Tree. And no, I can't show you guys because Lego gets really mad. Uh, but one of the options on the Great Deku Tree was to make one that was from Breath of the Wild. Well, we all know the Great Deku Tree is also in Tears of the Kingdom. So if it's not related to Tears of the Kingdom, then I doubt it'd be that Lego set. But it doesn't mean it couldn't be some other Zelda Lego set, say a Hero of Time related Lego set or something from a prior Zelda game. So you can't rule out that it could be Lego sets. I know a lot of you guys uh, in my last video on this were screaming Zelda movie. It's going to be a Zelda movie. And I'm just going to point out uh, the reasons that I don't think it's going to be a Zelda movie. Uh, there's a writer's strike. Let's just start with that. There's a writer's strike and an actor's strike. And we all know for Mario, they wanted to use big name actors. Well, those big name actors wouldn't be able to do anything right now. And obviously the writers wouldn't be able to finish a script. So I just don't feel like they would announce a Zelda movie while there is an active strike going on. I think that strike is going to cause delays. And so if there is a Zelda movie that's going to be in the works, I don't think now is the right time to announce it. I just think with everything going on, Nintendo is going to avoid that controversy because even if you announce it now, I know the movie still doesn't have to come out for years, but you're announcing something that can't even actively be worked on at the moment. So I would think that they're probably not going to announce a Zelda movie, but it is a possibility. 
It could also be some other weird Zelda merchandise thing, right? Like if it's not Legos, uh, T-shirts, um, you know, maybe maybe there's going to be a new ride that they're going to announce for the Zelda theme park stuff, you know, for Nintendo World. So it, look, those are sort of the things that I think are exciting, but maybe less so. The other stuff, of course, is the video game side of this. Like what sort of Zelda games could there be? And that is a question I am sitting here pondering uh, greatly. You know, I, I think about things like what Grezzo is working on. Grezzo, uh, you know, yeah, they did Miitopia back in 2021. They did Link's Awakening back in 2019. But they have a very good record of releasing Zelda games every couple of years. And it's been more than that. And we know Grezzo, you know, had not just Majora's Mask 3D and Ocarina of Time 3D. You know, they did Triforce Heroes. So they have a lot of experience. And I, I keep wondering... Would Nintendo release another Zelda game in 2023? Or would they be announcing one for early 2024? Because remember, Jeff Grubb did note later in his show that, hey, even if it's a game, it doesn't necessarily mean the game has to come this year. It could just be announced this year. So we have to think long and hard about what that means. And one thing I'm really interested about in this phrase is, when he says something not related to Tears of the Kingdom is happening with Zelda later this year, while he's not saying something related to Tears of the Kingdom won't happen, if they are going to announce a new game or a new remaster, right? Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Oracle Games, whatever. If they're going to announce a brand new game, whether it's a remaster or new, does that mean that Tears of the Kingdom isn't going to get DLC? This is sort of that elephant in the room of, why would they announce something for Zelda, a, a Zelda game that's not related to Tears of the Kingdom, if there was going to be Tears of the Kingdom DLC? Like, Tears of the Kingdom DLC would be the entire news cycle, but apparently, I am getting the strong feeling that, that, that this heavily is suggesting that maybe there's just not going to be DLC, at least not DLC announced this year. And that, to me, is very, very strange, given how popular Tears of the Kingdom is. Now, having beaten Tears of the Kingdom and without spoiling anything, I could see an argument where DLC isn't needed. Tears of the Kingdom is definitely a complete game and has a pretty definitive ending. But even then, there's always plot holes and other things and other directions they could go uh, with this stuff. I mean, including the fact that Hyrule isn't even fully rebuilt yet. So you could you know, just have DLC related to rebuilding Hyrule. So there's a lot they could do with DLC. But the point is that maybe there won't be any, and that is why Nintendo's planning to announce something else, Zelda. Because I keep thinking, why would Nintendo want to announce a new Zelda game in 2023? It, it makes no sense, right? Like, you shouldn't announce anything until 2024, at least, right? That's when maybe you can see another remaster or a spin-off game coming out. And I was quickly reminded that, People were disappointed in the last Nintendo Direct when there was no Tears of the Kingdom DLC. That was a general reaction online. In fact, it was trending at one point on multiple social medias that there was no Tears of the Kingdom DLC. And Nintendo is paying more attention. They have admitted openly, the Zelda team has admitted openly, that they are all paying attention to how the general online reaction is. And when that general online reaction is disappointment that there's no Tears of the Kingdom DLC, well, if there is no Tears of the Kingdom DLC being announced this year, or they're not even working on Tears of the Kingdom DLC, so the Zelda team already knows, A.G. Anomu knows, hey, we're not releasing Tears of the Kingdom DLC, but people are going to keep being disappointed every Nintendo Direct, then maybe they're thinking we need to swap something in to quell that disappointment. Hey, you might not be getting Tears of the Kingdom DLC, but look what you are getting. Maybe it's a new top-down Zelda game from Grezzo. Maybe it's a new remake or remaster or a massive spin-off game. I, I don't know. Like, What would be that massive spin-off game? Like, probably the biggest ones we've had was Age of Calamity, but then if it's another one like that, you figure, well, that would be related to Tears of the Kingdom if they did that, right? Maybe. Uh, theoretically, they could follow the ending of Age of Calamity and it's a completely different timeline, and then it's not related to Tears of the Kingdom. Don't want to spoil Age of Calamity too much for those that haven't played it, but I don't know. I am of mind that Nintendo isn't afraid of doing anything. If we've learned nothing about Nintendo this generation with Switch, they don't care. 
Look, we had three Pokemon games, three major Pokemon games in a 12-month span. We can't sit here and pretend that Nintendo would be unwilling to announce a new Zelda game the same year they released a major Zelda game. So, heck, I mean, it's not even that abnormal. Remember when Wind Waker came out? You know, Wind Waker came out and they announced Twilight Princess like six months later. So, it's not even unprecedented for Nintendo to announce a new Zelda game within the, you know, the same... You know, full calendar year, a full 12 month span of a major release. So they've done it before and they've definitely overlapped it sometimes a little bit with the handheld games versus the console ones. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, I know it feels weird to revisit this topic. I just feel like I didn't get all of my full thoughts in as much as I did. It was recorded super late in the night uh, after I had done a live stream. So you guys are awesome. Thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video. Yeah.